I apologize for any uh, embarrassment or the ordeal that he had to go through. The Fort Myers Police Chief Doug Baker publicly apologizing to the Southwest Florida native and professional football player Nate Allen and his family tonight. This after he released the findings of an internal investigation five months in the making. And we're learning four officers involved in Allen's botched arrest are being punished to facing suspensions. Four in your corners, Tara Molina has followed this case from the very beginning. She's joining us live now from the police department with the Details. Tara. Patrick, after months of investigation, this review reveals that the officers arresting Nate Allen for a crime he didn't commit misinterpreted a state statute. Cape Coral native Nate Allen is used to the spotlight as a defensive back in the NFL. But a few months ago, it was unwanted, unwarranted attention that had his name in the headlines. And to have this conversation. Yeah. And talk about this and discuss me. Allen was wrongly accused of masturbating in his vehicle in front of a 16 year old girl while driving on Cleveland Avenue. Fort Myers police arrested and detained him. Something we now know never should have happened. This 132 page review ordered by Fort Myers police chief Doug Baker reveals two officers, Sergeant Jacqueline Garrett and Detective Audenia Thomas, quote, failed to interpret a Florida state statute and, quote, failed to properly investigate a crime. They read the statute wrong. Baker says the officers arrested Allen as if he'd committed a felony, when really the case should have been treated as a non-arrest misdemeanor because the victim was older than 15. But there was an arrest, and it was the wrong guy. Hindsight's always 20-20. Police Chief Doug Baker tells me both Sergeant Garrett and Detective Thomas faced suspensions. Two other officers received written reprimands for policy violations. So you never want this to ever happen. We don't want it to happen in the in the future. Um, you know, and we take steps to make sure that that's done. He calls this an isolated incident, telling me it wasn't deliberate. It's an error he says the department will work to prevent moving forward. Disciplinary action, policy review, and the attention that this case has got is going to you know, greatly assist in preventing a reoccurrence of this in the future, I believe. Earlier today, I went to City Hall to get the mayor and city manager's take on this review. Both of them are out of town. But tomorrow morning, Sawyer Smith, Nate Allen's attorney, plans to address the media and share how both he and Nate feel about the review. Fox 4 will be there and will bring you the very latest. We're live in Fort Myers. Tara Molina, Fox 4, in your corner. All right, thank you, Tara.